I'm meteorologist John Dawson. This is the Fox 26 tropical update just for YouTube. Glad you found us here and we are always here every day of hurricane season and I just want to sort of dive into things right away because we have been talking about dawn for a very long time. So that's kind of be the headline is that basically dawn is still there but beginning to fall apart a little bit. We're going to examine Don a bit closer here in just a minute. But here's the other thing that we're talking about in the Atlantic, and that is Invest 95 L. If you'll remember uh, last at the end of last week here, uh, formally identified as an area of, of interest from the National Hurricane Center. It's not a tropical cyclone yet, so it doesn't have a number. If it would be a depression, it doesn't have a name, but it's labeled as Invest 95 L just to kind of help us keep track on what we're talking about and it and it's really struggling uh, quite a bit and we're going to look at the reasons why here in just a minute but note that the hurricane center uh, had this up to a 70% chance at one point uh, and now it's backed it all the way down to a 40% chance in a seven day period 30% uh, chance in a two day period so I, I really don't think it's going to be able to do anything over the next two days uh, again you can see by the by the percentages there or the probabilities that the hurricane center has given it and I'm in agreement of that but once it gets a little bit further in this orange area into the lesser Antilles basically into the Caribbean I think that's when it might have a little bit of a better chance to kind of go in get into a further development uh, I haven't I'm not really showing water temperatures today but we've been talking about water temperatures for a while and you know that once you get into the Caribbean those are going to be higher and the higher the temperature it's always going to be a little bit more favorable for development. But what we will be talking about at least is this Saharan dust. So you'll notice this is a future cast product of the Saharan dust. We're kind of getting that some kind of almost out ahead of where that, you know, orange section was this uh, area of dust. And that's not going to be helpful at all as far as the development of Invest 95L into a tropical cyclone. The dust is not helpful for that. So this little section there that kind of gets out ahead of that is definitely going to give it some problems. But if it's able to kind of hang in there until it gets into, and especially if it can kind of get in between some of these heavier layers of dust, I think it's definitely going to have a better chance and again, getting itself enough organized that the hurricane center would identify it at least as a tropical depression and then maybe even a storm. So we'll have to look into that. I'm going to take a little sidebar here for just real quick uh, for those folks who are in southeast Texas, uh, Houston specifically. That's, of course, what Fox 26 focuses on most of the time. I know there's a lot of you out there that are not who are here for the tropical information, but give me just a quick 30, 45 seconds here to talk about the fact that look at all the Saharan dust in the Gulf of Mexico. Again, this is a future cast product and we are looking at Tuesday. We were expecting some of this dust to make it all the way here into the Houston area. And again, so this is a future cast product. So, you know, it give or take a little bit. It's not going to be perfect, but we're certainly looking like we're going to be able to transport some of that dust that's just filling the Gulf of Mexico right now um, up here into southeast Texas. And so that means you're going to have those hazy skies. It also helps as far as uh, making our sunsets and our sunrises just a little bit more spectacular uh, when you get a little bit of those particulates kind of floating around in there just a little bit. So maybe keep that in mind if you're up early or you know watching the sunset it might be some pretty nice ones coming up this week on tuesday and wednesday i think is kind of the time frame on some of that okay thanks for letting me take that time out there everybody let's get back to the focus on what we're doing here with the tropics and yes uh, this little area right here this is where 95 uh, l is so you can see there's a lot of activity kind of happening around it but that's not really the organized the actual low pressure itself is right about here here. And so when you kind of take a look at things uh, a little bit more and you see where that is um, and then you look at these computer models that are now running on it, that's one of the main reasons why the Hurricane Center give it this label of Invest 95L because then it really starts churning away on our computer models. And remember, the modeling really needs that closed circulation at the surface to help define it as a tropical system. Uh, it does okay before that, but really that's what we look for 
And so these are all just sort of a, sort of the beginnings of trying to get an idea of what's happening. But it's a pretty consistent track on where this might be heading. And the key note here and what will be different between this system and Dawn, we're going to look at Dawn here in just a minute, is the fact that this is certainly coming into proximity of more people. Look at all the land that this is going to potentially have a, a, a possibility of interacting with. And Don, not so much. Do you remember how Don's just kind of been spinning around down here uh, in the Atlantic? Well, here's the future, uh, the cone, the forecast cone. And remember, the Hurricane Center always, it's a five-day forecast cone, right? Well, um, we're only looking for maybe one more day here uh, where we're going to be able to have the Hurricane Center interested in it. This is falling apart quickly. If you remember yesterday, at this time, just becoming a hurricane, didn't last too long by now, less than 24 hours. It's now back down uh, to a tropical storm, but it's still 60 mile an hour wind. So those are still some pretty uh, powerful winds as far as a tropical storm is concerned. And the speed has started to pick up as far as the movement, uh, and it's going to be heading to the uh, northeast now. Uh, and as it moves over these cooler waters, it's just going to kind of lose uh, any sort of ability to sort of hang on as a tropical system. So another day, it looks like uh, tomorrow, uh, Monday at 1 p.m. This this is where we're expecting uh, to have a, a tropical depression most likely is what that'll look like. Quick reminder, if we do get a name on Invest 95L or any of, or whenever we get the next name, uh, Emily will be the next name on the list that so we're on uh, that. Don was the first hurricane that we've had this year um, and we'll, in the Atlantic, and we'll kind of note that, that it didn't last very long as a hurricane as far as Don is concerned. Uh, I hope you're already following me on some social media. Here's that availability, but also a quick reminder on YouTube, the best way to find me is to search meteorologist John Dawson. That brings you to my YouTube channel, and that YouTube channel has all of my hurricane gear test products ways to kind of help you think about hurricane preparedness. So if you get a second, punch in meteorologist John Dawson on YouTube, find my YouTube channel and look at some of those uh, hurricane gear test items just to kind of see how you're doing with your preparations and maybe give you again some ideas uh, of what else you could do to be even better prepared for hurricane season. Thanks for finding us today. I hope you'll look us up again tomorrow. All right, let me go reset a few graphics and then we'll do us a heat wave.